Joel Kublik, a friend of the program, he uh, was fantastic to join us uh, pretty recently and certainly enjoyed that. But he came up with a really, really cool stat that I had not heard of before. Can you share that with me? Because I think it's surprising and will surprise a lot of our listeners and viewers. Yes. So um, since over the last 20 years, there have been, I kid you not, 18 top 10 teams. In 18 of the last 20 seasons, a top 10 team to enter the year finished unranked. Now, let's have a little bit of fun because uh, one of those would have obviously been, Dave, the 2005 Tennessee Vols. Right. Who started the year ranked number three and finished the year unranked. Ouch. I don't have the stats in front of me, but I believe it goes back further than 20 years. Because I know, um, I'm, one, I think you could actually have as impressive of a stat as top five, and it would still look pretty good. But I distinctly remember... I'm sure you remember this, Dave. Do you remember the 2000 Alabama team? Started yes. the year ranked number three and went three and eight. Yes. 2002 Tennessee started yes. the year number four, went eight and five in their first unranked season in 17 years at the time. Yes. I'm just saying that I think it goes, I think he just stopped at 20. I bet he could have gone back 50. But he could too. All right, let's go to four downs right now. And which SEC team could fall out of the top 10 we discuss? Four downs. Four questions. Four answers. The Dave Hooker Show. Four. Four. Four downs. A presentation of offthehooksports.com. All right. Four downs brought to you by our good friends at Quality Tire Pros. The Eberly family has been serving Chattanooga's community since 1957. All major brands of tires, full service automotive brakes, alignments, oil changes, and more. You can trust Quality Tire Pros in downtown Chattanooga on Cherokee, qualitytirepros.com. Tell Bo that Off the Hook Sports and Dave said, hey, Bo. All right, let's go with down number one as uh, Cooper will set us up. Uh, excuse me, Coop, what do you got? Cooper Mays here. Hit like and subscribe. Thanks, Coop. Coop here. First down. First down. Now, Georgia, Alabama, Texas, and Ole Miss are in in the top 10 from the sec who is a lock to finish the season in the top 10 well george is a lock of those four like i'm not even like yeah I don't even think if they're a disappointment i don't yeah. think it's debatable if you had a pick second i think alabama i think alabama is still town i have the question of jalen milrow um and jalen milrow being a fit for kaylin DeBoer's offense but i mean they still have a lot of talent and kaylin DeBoer is a good coach Yep. Uh, I have trouble uh, arguing either side of that. So let's go second down, Coop. Cooper Mays here. Second down. Which of these teams are locks to make the top 25 at the end of the year? Here's my answer. Georgia, Alabama, and Texas. I don't think Ole Miss is a lock. I think they're the most volatile team. I think they could surprise us the most in a positive or negative fashion. Ole Miss, I don't think, is a lock to be top 25 at the end of the year have a little fun okay i like fun george is the only sure lock alabama is the second most sure lock ole miss nor texas are locks ole miss is more likely than texas you heard it here first texas is the most likely of the four to not finish ranked this year have you seen that texas schedule it's very favorable it's very favorable it's still tougher than it was last year okay all right, what down, Coop? Tennessee center Cooper Mays here, third down. Okay, of those four teams, who will not finish in the top ten? Oh, Texas. Texas will not finish in the top ten. You heard it here first. Texas ain't finishing in the top ten. Y'all come for me. I'm ready, Texas. I'm not scared of you, Texas. You don't scare me. <laughs> What? I'll mess with Texas all day long. What down next, Coop? All SEC center Cooper Mays here. Fourth down. All right. So you have to pick a team that is most likely to finish inside the top 10, not named Georgia. Who is that? So we know that you don't like Texas. 
we know that I don't like Ole Miss. Are we just going to agree that it's Alabama by default? Yeah, it's Alabama by default at that point. It is. So let's go through the rest of the list because I got a few. Dave, I think a few of these top 10 teams are in flux, though. Lay them on me. Do you want to share so, the okay. top 10 list or do we want to read it off? Yeah, let's go. We could share it. So number one is Georgia. Okay, top 10. Number two is Ohio State. Crazy enough, that may not be a guarantee. Uh, too, easy Ryan Day could crash. too easy of a schedule, especially with Jim Harbaugh gone. I think that's a lock. Okay. Oregon, I think Oregon's more of a lock at number three, honestly. Agreed. Than Ohio Agreed. State. I think Oregon finishes top 10. We talked about Texas and Alabama and Ole Miss. Now, here's an interesting one, Dave. And uh, this is a total wild card. And I think you and I are on the same page with this. But Notre Dame. Notre Dame has me the only three teams okay let me just tell you their four toughest games texas a&m louisville florida state and usc i don't know that notre dame's not going to finish outside the top 25 but because they get favorable voting but they're not going to finish inside the top 10 they're already already replacing an all-american tackle and then their other all-american tackle ripped his pectoral in practice so they've got issues and i think the Freeman hire was a bad hire to begin with, so I'll stick with that. Uh, who else out of the top 10 do you not see finishing in the top 25? So after that, we're looking at Penn State. Um, but then again, I mean, Penn State's going to – they don't even play Michigan this year. So they're going to get their easy 10-2 and two path and finish number 10. Right. And number nine. Now, here's the question, Dave. This is the, This is going to be an interesting one. Michigan. Michigan plays Texas the second week of the season. Michigan they, won't in the top 10. You don't think? Oh, wow. Okay. So they got at Ohio State, they have Oregon. Yeah. I could, and they have at Washington. I could see them not finishing in the top 10 either. And then last, number 10 is Florida State. They'll finish in the top 10 by default because of the ACC. So which teams do you have not finishing inside the top 10? Because I got another exercise for you. All right. I got Texas, I got Notre Dame, and I got Michigan. And I'm with you now. The question gets tricky. So you've got of, three. Right? Yes. I got three. Okay. Um, that's now, my sure my, ones. Now, my question, I just want to deal with the sure ones. My question for you, 11 to 25 and beyond, who are the three that take their place? Brought to you by TriStar Hats. For the latest in TriStar Hats, go to the original Hats Apparel and more, TriStarHatsCo.com. TriStarHatsCo.com. Use the promo code HOOKED. That's HOOKED for 10% off. I'll tell you mine. I think that it's Clemson because it's the ACC. I think it's Tennessee because I'm higher on Tennessee the most. And then I'm open for debate for that third team that climbs inside the top 10. See, I think it's clear cut and not Clemson because I think Flo – well, actually – I think they I, both could make the top 10. Well, here's the thing. Then we're talking four because if Clemson's in, Florida State won't. There will not be two ACC teams in the top 10 at the end of the year. They're not going to do that. Okay. So I can maybe give you Clemson. Let's say Clemson and Florida State are interchangeable. How's that? So we still got to come up with three. We still got to come up with three. I've got Tennessee. I'm with you on Tennessee. I've got, you can call me crazy, but the actual best team in Texas this year, Texas A&M. I was and about to go A&M there at 20. Now what about Missouri at 11, Utah at 12, LSU at 13? A couple of SEC teams there. Could they climb inside the top 10? I'm going to stick with uh, my default will be LSU. I'll go to LSU and y'all can call me Caleb, the LSU Homer. I'm just going to say this LSU better finish in the top 10. If LSU is not in the top 10 at the end of this year, I'd put Brian Kelly on the hot seat immediately. I think LSU is the team most likely to have the most disappointing team out of the entire SEC. I got a weird feeling from talking to some people that things may not be as copacetic as they once were with Brian Kelly at LSU. Here's my question. LSU USC, by the way, USC is ranked number 23. Uh, they they both they open the season against each other. Do you think the loser of that game could very likely get fired at the end of the year? Well, I think Lincoln. I think they're going to make a change at Southern California anyway with Lincoln Riley. So I okay. will I will say that that change happens. If LSU loses, then maybe that changes Riley's path, and maybe that hurts uh, Brian Kelly at LSU. So I would say that. Uh, 
I, I'm I'm going to predict, regardless of what happens in that game, that Riley's out and Kelly has another another solid year. In other words, he's not on the hot seat in 2025. I think they'll be about a nine and three team. And then if he goes about nine and three again, then he'll be in the hot seat in 2026. They've just committed so much financially to him. They have. Okay, so one last question because we haven't taken the Cole Kublik bold stance because the question isn't top 10 teams not in the top 10 at the end of the year. It's top 10 teams not in the top 25 at the end of the year. You got to pick one, Dave. Throw one out there. Do it. I'm ready. Oh, of all the top 10s not in the top 25? Uh, which top 10 team will not finish in the top 25 this year? Not not in the top 10. Okay, so I, don't, so I don't have to pick an SEC team like a ball to Ole Miss. Just any team? Yeah, any team that won't finish ranked. They're not going to finish the year ranked. Give me Notre Dame all day long. All right, you got Notre Dame. I got Texas because it, I'll just go down the list real quick. Texas is going to lose to Michigan. They're going to – this may be my bowl prediction. I, I, we're going to do bowl predictions, guys, next week. But um, I think Texas is going to get upset by Mississippi State. And I think Texas is going to lose to Texas A&M. I think they're going to lose to Georgia. And so I got I got four losses on their schedule, and I bet there's an upset somewhere down in their future.